Okay, I'm back again, folks. Uh, broadcasting. I'm down here at the uh, near 101 Market Street, where the San Francisco Police Department has uh, come down here and they've arrested all of the occupiers. Right now, they're bringing out the uh, DPW trucks, Department of Public Works, to uh, take and haul everybody's stuff out of there. I'll try and hold the camera still, so you can see down the street. Uh, I don't really want to get too much closer because um, I did get a chance to walk away from all this and uh, so I definitely don't want to be arrested for uh, anything that I may get arrested for. Well, I'm not worried about getting arrested, but you know what I mean, folks. Uh, better not than, than to. You know, I was given a good opportunity to get the hell out of here. But uh, we've got mega police department out here. I don't know if you can see them. But they're just down the street. And I was not arrested, so for all you who are worried about me, thanks for your concern. But it pays to have lawyers, and it pays to be a live streamer. And I will be going to see Sergeant Andrew Chuck in the next day or two to get my press pass. So, got to take care of that. I've been kind of lagging on that, folks. And, uh, but no, I wasn't arrested. Uh, but do let everybody know that uh, that uh, people were arrested down here tonight. Um, by the way. Um, I did, we were talking, um, I was talking to a Democratic club tonight about Occupy, and the subject of the mission, uh, the mission Trashy Smashy came up, and I, I got to tell you folks out there, I'm a firm believer that Wells Fargo paid a group of people to come down to the mission to uh, the Elgin's Provocateurs, and, uh, and they paid for that to happen because they were the first, like, it was almost like perfect timing, because what they did was uh, the very next day after it happened, they were out there offering anybody who wanted to uh, needed money to fix their store up or whatever um, a $25,000 loan. Uh, now, whether they were charging interest on that loan or not, I don't know. But uh, to me, it seems uh, too much of a coincidence for the people at Wells Fargo not to be involved because our uh, actions were going to happen on May 1st, and they were going to do everything they could to stop any kind of momentum, political momentum that we would have had uh, in San Francisco to try to turn the people of San Francisco against us. So, um, and I was also at that Mission Street thing, and one of the reasons why I left before all the shit went down was because when I was there, I didn't see any uh, anybody there that I knew. And I've been living in San Francisco for 35 years and going to protests for many protests all the time. And so when I go to a protest and I don't know anybody, well, then something's fucked up. So uh, I left. And as we were leaving, I was with my friend. As we were leaving, we were, I was pointing to him all the places that were going to get trashed. And sure enough, that's what happened. So right now, a lot of the police have moved. Uh, we've got about maybe 30 officers down here. And they're all out in the middle of Market Street. I guess they're protecting the uh, DPW trucks uh, because they are coming in here to haul out all the people's belongings. Uh, whether they get them back or not, I'm not really sure. But it is my understanding that when your uh, your belongings get taken into police custody, that you are provided with an opportunity to retrieve those items. So whether or not they're going to get destroyed in transit is not. Uh, I don't. I don't know. But that's generally the way it works, or at least that's the way it officially works. But do keep calling to uh, Mayor Ed Lee's office and let him know how you feel about people getting arrested for protesting here in the city of San Francisco, which uh, I think many San Franciscans are very deluded in thinking that this is this is the most liberal city in the United States, um, according to my experiences and my travels. But uh, uh, protesting against the Federal Reserve Bank is still a crime uh, where you can be summarily punished for uh, being uh, against them. So, that's pretty fucked up. And uh, I'm actually glad that I was down here to actually see it happen and be able to live stream for you about what's going on. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try sending out a better tweet than I was sending out. So if the camera shakes a little bit, it's just me.
So here's a quick rundown for all you people that just uh, logged on. Uh, I was sitting having a conversation with some people, peaceful. I'm just trying to find out what's been coming going on down here at 101 Market Street. And uh, I guess about 10 o'clock, we had two police officers that walked by, I guess mainly to provide uh, surveillance and intelligence for the police department. And uh, and then after the, right after they walked by, about 10 minutes later, all of a sudden uh, 80 to uh, 60 to 80, maybe 90 uh, police in full ride gear came and uh, surrounded us and kettled us and uh, didn't give an order to disperse. Uh, there was no warning. Uh, people that and started making, telling everybody that they were under arrest and not to leave, and uh, and all those, all the people that were uh, occupying the area at the Federal Reserve Bank, uh, every person was arrested. Uh, the only reason they let me go is because um, I lead a strong life, and I do have an attorney and. And I had captured everything that's on this in live stream, so I had evidence. And uh, I guess living here in San Francisco for 35 years and knowing people and whatever, I actually knew the cop that was, I didn't know him personally, but I've had dealings with him in the past. So and he recognized me. And when they were going to make arrests, I was going to turn myself in, folks, peacefully, I might add. And then he told me, he says, no, you're uh, Mr. Livestreamer, we're going to let you go. So, woohoo. And I kind of had that suspicion, but, you know, when something happens like this, I'm not going to try and, like, you know, whatever happens, I'm willing to deal with the consequences, or else I wouldn't be out here live streaming for you. How you guys doing? So I'm just getting a, just out here reporting on this police action. Where they, yeah, they came in, and uh, they'll be back. It's not, there for a minute. I was just talking to some people. Yeah, yeah, and the cops just moved in, and, uh, and they, were, they were, like, didn't let anybody leave or anything, right? Wow. So I was the last person. No, we're going to save you for last, because I wanted, wanted to, my battery was running out, and I was going to turn myself in, right? Uh -huh. And he says, oh no, Mr. Livestreamer, we're going to let you go. <laughs> so, and I was already tweeting out my lawyer to my lawyer to let him know I might be put into custody, you know, because I keep a lawyer on retainer, just because I go to a lot of protests, right? And when you're doing press, you know, you always run the risk of getting arrested. So, and I was in New York uh, on Monday for Occupy Wall Street. And I was in D.C. Was that a peaceful swoop, or did they go in and get robbed? Uh, it was actually really peaceful. Right on. Yeah, they didn't. Um, the police were, you know, they were they were all geared up, but um, there was no scene. And and we have um, been working with the occupiers to uh, in nonviolence. And, oh yeah, uh, that was their brother. Yeah, so uh, that's well, the other thing I do. Right now, um, now there was an article in the paper the other day about how much this looks like a homeless encampment, yeah. and uh, they're just using that propaganda against people that are protesting. You know, some people that do hide behind the Oh, yeah, there's people that would stay in there. But, yeah, you know. 99% not have people. Yeah, exactly. Protest. You can't have a protest and not have people. You know. I actually could be an asshole. I was kind of an asshole about it. And because I've done kind of these kind of political protests before. And uh, I, w I wouldn't recommend it that having homeless in your camp is a good idea. Simply because you're trying to put on a. Yeah, don't put two and two together and try to no. make one solution. No, and you're trying to you're trying to maintain a public image that the general yeah. public, you know, and you want to be able to have it be accessible to the public. That was my only complaint, was that you were, uh, you know, you're looking kind of shaggy there, and uh, you know, if you need a place to take a shower, you're always welcome to come over to my house. We have a laundry, and there's all kinds of facilities to get clean, yeah, and I don't mind. Yeah, in the city too, but I don't mind people coming over to my house. It's not, a, you know, it's not a big deal. Yeah, you're lucky. What's your name? What's your name? Burke. Burke? Yes. My name's Clark. Are you with uh, Are you with any press outfits? No. No. no? You're just freelancing? No, I'm just uh, just watching. Oh. Oh, you got to get that camera out there more often, dude. You should follow me around. <laughs> I cover this shit. I do at least three or four demonstrations a week and events. Right. Separated ourselves from this, and then another group went down to Montgomery and started the, the Yeah, that's what I hear. Um, is anybody in Montgomery or are they aware of what's going on? So I was going to go down to Oh, really? You want to push me over there, man? Sure. I'll go over there with you. Well, now, you know what? I should probably stick around here. Yeah. But um, just to keep this going. 
and I'm cold, man. I only wore one coat tonight. See, I wasn't planning on staying down here very long. Me neither. But else I would have worn a trench coat or something. Walk by, say, hey, it gets cold when you're in a wheelchair. Yeah, well, maybe I'll just, I don't know. There's really not much going on here. Folks, uh, if you want me to stay, if you want me to stay, just uh, uh, tweet me here in the next second, and I'll stay. But if you don't, um, I think I'm going to go home because uh, all that's happening now, basically, is that DPW is moving in and cleared up all the garbage. Everybody that was an occupier down here has been taken into custody. Uh, approximately 40 people were uh, taken into custody after being raided by San Francisco Police Department, Homeland Security, and Federal uh, Protective Services. Uh, the whole shebang. And they were fully equipped with all kinds of uh, what they call less than lethal weapons. Um, and anybody, any of you people that were over in Oakland, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, all their little uh, play toys that the police department's been given by Homeland Security. So if, uh, if nobody's going to object, uh, I don't see anybody objecting at the moment. Um, just let everybody know that I wasn't taken into custody for all my friends and, uh, and that they did let me leave and uh, they said Mr. Livestreamer uh, uh, just keep walking up the street so I guess I was pretty lucky so uh, I'm gonna go uh, up here to Montgomery Street and talk to some people up there and uh, I'll uh, resume my live streaming if there's worth of live streaming so everybody you have a wonderful night and uh, thanks for all your love and support. I really appreciate it. And uh, just to let you guys know that I love you too. And that's why I'm out here live streaming. Because I care about everybody. So uh, have a good night and sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs bite.